Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Like and subscribe. I got a few things I have to address to the 525. Valve covers next, most definitely. But today, what we are going to be replacing is the starter. And yeah, good luck trying to see it. But <clears throat> we got to do that. So other videos for you, how to remove all this. Well, let's go with this. Easiest one. 13 millimeter through that one get this off it is a, see this real quick pull this off this is that Same to this side. Some of these right here. Well, get the gist. Be right back. All right, so to make it easy on us, remove this. Oh. Looks like I got a bunch of used parts or so. Psych. <clears throat> now, I've got to find a way to get to the starter, which is in here. We'll get a light so you guys can see. So I had to remove the air intake I had. Still don't know how to get light for you guys. But instead of removing the whole intake manifold, just remove the bolts. As you can see, it's back there. Let me figure out how to get it and I'll talk to you guys soon. Well, got this to the side and there she is. Starter. I got one of the bolts out. And to get the other one, I think I'm going to use this. See how it goes. Mission success. Got it out. And of course, more than enough room to wiggle it out. And I got my replacement right here. Always make sure it's the same product. Looks about right. Now the hardest part is done. And uh, it didn't take much. Like I said, the cowl. Remove the intake manifold. Some couple cable wires. And look at all that space you got. First time doing this took me a little over an hour and a half. But I'm sure within an hour I could do this for the next vehicle I do. Alright, and we're done. Uh, I recommend if you guys have never changed your PCV valve or CCV hoses, replace them. I didn't replace them because I had just recently done it a few months ago when I, when I put in the three stage intake manifold. It is a 525, but it has the Beamer Labs 3, not 330, 530i tune for the distance for it to work. But seems like it went well. Just gotta wait for my battery to charge and once it's charged I'm gonna give it a start. A little quick uh, overview of what I had to do. I had to remove air filter, move the cowl. Didn't disconnect much besides this DISA and uh, right here and these two. After that unbolted the manifold, popped right out and as you can see before had more than enough room. And if you don't have enough room for the back bolt, because uh, it's a E14 or a Torx 14 female, there's one on this side, and there's one behind starter, and it was very difficult to get it. But if you happen to have a recommend a ratchet wrench, uh, 11 millimeter or 716, I believe, is what worked, and that phenomenally helped me out so much. So I'll be right back once I get my battery in the vehicle and start it. Good morning everybody, it's the next day. 
But as you can hear, we succeeded on the replacement of the starter for the N52. 525 by. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.